Mutalisk strain ready for augmentation. Located feral broodlords. Must reacquire essence. Can be spun into Mutalisk strain. Dominion defense platform. Sigma Centauri. Feral broodlords nearby. Missile turrets designed to kill mutilisks. Stalemate without broodlords. Find the broodlords. We'll assimilate their essence and destroy the Dominion. Hey guys, bet you thought I forgot about this video series, didn't you? Well, I didn't. I would never forget about my beloved Starcraft, but let me tell you what happened, okay? As you remember, Abatha. Recover essence. I'm gonna kill him, Abatha, don't you worry. But as you remember, I was doing this Starcraft series quite happily, and then World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor came out, and I was like, you know what? That would be amazing to record. Fresh new expansion. World of Warcraft is like the game I spend proportionally proportionately most of my life on, so hey, let's record that. But then, then what happened? Assimilate I'll tell you in a second what happened. Okay, uh, nope. Alright, cool, they're, they're flopping. I'll tell you what happened, right? Okay, what happened was I was sticking up my wild videos on YouTube, having a wonderful time. And then the final part of Frostfire Ridge was just blocked for copyright purposes and YouTube sent me lots of angry messages like, hey, none of that. And I was like, okay, fine, screw you. So I've been playing fan made Pokemon games instead because I don't think Amethyst. 0193 or whatever she's called is gonna sue me, so I was just having a grump on playing Pokemon. I'm still gonna play that Pokemon game, obviously, because I I finish what I do eventually. And uh, I'm still gonna play Sims and all of this, but you know what? I was looking at my folders, I have all of this StarCraft footage recorded but not commentated, so you know what? I'm just gonna finish StarCraft 2 because it deserves to be finished because it is a lovely lovely little game series. It's a great... We're being overrun. We are. Drop in it is a great RPG. No, it's not an RTS. It's a great RTS and a decent RPG if you look at a certain point of view. But yeah, it's a good game and I like its story. I know it's it's very rare for someone to... It's very rare for a Blizzard fan. Wow, I'm not even saying. It's very rare for a Blizzard fan say anything positive about the stories, but I love it. that, you know, they're not like excellent thought-provoking stories, but they're fun. Nothing wrong with a story that's good fun. Nothing wrong with thinking that Sarah Kerrigan's a little bit of awesome. What was that mutilist strain even doing? I wasn't paying any attention. What was special about it? But it did something. Transport wreckage discovered. Jorium crystal contained within. Jorium useful for experimentation. Enhances psionic potential. Must acquire. Completed research on primal essences. New strain created. Viper ready to assault Dominion. I remember now. So the other mutilisks I made were Broodlords. These are Vipers. I recorded all this so long ago that I actually can't remember which strain I go for, but I expect I'm going to go for the Broodlords, because the Broodlords... Viper, strategic asset. Abducts targets. Pulls to its location. Usable on ally or foe. Move across the river and pull our aberrations to the other side. Yeah, exactly, right? The Broodlords are nice and easy. You just kill things with them. Where is the Vipers? Well, that. Siege tanks detected. Use Vipers. Pull into range of aberrations. That requires intelligence and dexterity to use them. I mean, they're amazing. I've seen, you know, pro Starcraft players do amazing things with Vipers, but I'm just... All I do with Vipers, right? Whenever I'm in a multiplayer game and I think, you know what, I'm gonna try some Vipers now. I think their blinding clouds are really gonna help out. What I do is I build up all the Vipers, spend all the best being gas and minerals and all the time and whatnot getting invested in those. Then I drain some of my buildings to near death to get their energy full. Emits disabling cloud. Foes within cannot attack. 
And then when we engage in combat with the enemy, I puke out a little bit of blinding cloud somewhere and then all my vipers die. It's just not worth the time and mineral investment for someone of my non-existent skills. Move in for the kill. Going in for the kill. Doing it for the thrill. I'm hoping you'll understand. I'm not let go of my vipers. Come on, aberrations. Get him. What are you? Why is this taking so long? I'm really bad at this. Ah, I was see. That's how tiny my dexterity is. Typically planned these blinding clouds, whereas in a real match, I need to be doing that in like 0.2 seconds. And look, even now, single player against some enemies, all my vipers are getting killed. I'm glad that it just gave me more vipers out of nowhere, because uh, I'm here. Even. Must prepare Mutalisk Morph. Returning to Evolution Pit. I'm, I'm not even sure how those Vikings took damage. Mutalisk but, Morph. Okay. Ready for integration. Yeah, obviously I'm going for the Brood Lord. It's the only thing I can be trusted with. It's the only thing I'm entrusted with. So yeah, this was just a simple evolution mission, but don't worry, I'm gonna record another real mission right now. You're not gonna have to live with this shameful, tiny little scrap of StarCraft. We're getting back into the meat and potatoes of the series, and I'm actually gonna finish it. I will post a link to the playlist in the description, because it has been so long since I've recorded a video, you're probably gonna need it. Bye!